All right, Algebra 1, Chapter 3, Section 8. This is the end of Chapter 3. So a lot of stuff going on. Um, this is kind of, a, kind of a relaxed way to finish. We're just going to be taking a look at some graphs and, and seeing what's going on. And so uh, most of them will be given for us. We might have to design a couple, but um, it won't be too bad. So let's take a look at something. Um, if I was to... Let's just create a little, a little x-axis, y-axis here. And let's say um, let's say down here I have time. Whoop. And then let's say I'm running. So I'm going to put run distance. Okay, and let's say I want to make um, I want to make a graph that goes just like that. And so I'm going to take a minute to interpret that. It appears, obviously, down here at my beginning, of my graph is my origin, where that's my start time and my start distance. So before I get started, I haven't run anything. But this is a pretty simple graph to interpret as I increase my time as I go further to the right, I also increase my run distance. So plain and simple, once we increase time, then we also increase distance. Okay, so we could look at um, we could look at another one. Uh, we could look at a bunch of them, but let me set up another one. Um, oh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted it this way. Okay, so I've got something there. Let's say um, we have. I'm not going to put each individual month, but let's say the months of the year. And let's call it car sales. Okay, so um, what if I did something like this? Okay, maybe I did something like that on my graph. And what I could say is at the beginning of the year, obviously January, February, you know, people coming back, maybe getting uh, tax returns, maybe getting a little Christmas money. So there's an increase in sales. And then all of a sudden, you know, right around, oh, March, April, that slows down. Then it gets into those, those summer months, June, July, August, people are out buying new cars. And then it kind of tones down in November and levels off in December. So a lot of things going on. So what we could say is it increases, sales increase, then they level, then another increase. And they decrease. Now these will be labeled just a little bit better on your actual problems. And then level out. So it's just taking a look at what, what it's doing. Most of the time it's going to be over a period of time. Um, and some will have curves, some will be lines, some will flatten off, some will stay rising, some will stay falling. So it just kind of depends. So that's graph interpretation, chapter three, section eight.